Are you looking to create a winning slide? Welcome to our tutorial where we'll explore an awesome concept that will take your presentations to the next level. Join us as we uncover powerful techniques and design principles that will captivate your audience. Get ready to transform your slides into impactful visual masterpieces. Let's dive in. Let's start with a blank slide. Neat and clean. We need a background. For this slide, background should be chosen considering various factors like it should be related to technology, dark, vibrant, and has a design which can hold the subjects that we are going to design. To save time, I am using the stock images come with the Office 365 version. This image is a perfect candidate for the presentation slide. Very mysterious kind of style. Now, I need to create a mobile layout. Well, for your information this design is based on the mobile layout style. If you are holding mobile in your hands right now, then, you can subscribe. Now I will duplicate the rectangle, and with the help of this oval shape create a cutout for the bottom section. I am just creating a mobile layout shape. You can design it as per your own style or preferences. Colors play a vital role in PowerPoint presentations, especially when it comes to filling shapes. The right color scheme can enhance visual appeal, evoke emotions, and reinforce key messages. Understanding color theory is essential for effective slide design. Colors have psychological associations. Warm tones like red and orange convey energy and passion, while cool hues like blue and green evoke a sense of calmness and trust. Careful selection of complementary or contrasting colors can create visual harmony and draw attention to important elements. Choose colors wisely to make your PowerPoint slides visually engaging and impactful. Here I am taking time to fill and adjust the colors. I create designs spontaneously, without prior practice or a predetermined color palette for each shape. Typically, I pre-select a color scheme and utilize a color bar that I overlay on the slide during the design process. You may have noticed this technique in several of my past videos. Well, this is looking nice. What else do you think should be done here? Let's add some transparency to the gradient color. This will make it look more interesting. Let's add a small shape, a rectangle, and do something about it. Give it some treatment. Drop shadow is my go-to option for making the shapes more visually captivating. I always try to make the shadow soft and blur. Hard shadows look like that something is not complete in the design. It gives that sense. Adding text now. Somehow I am stuck with the Montserrat font. I just love this font. Well, this is a concept, and you can modify text placement, colors, style, and size. But make sure that the text is readable in slideshow mode. It should also look good. From rotating globes and intricate architectural designs to dynamic charts and interactive diagrams, 3D elements add depth and realism to your presentations. The visual impact is simply astonishing. Whether you're explaining complex concepts, showcasing product designs, or simply adding a touch of magic to your slides, 3D objects in PowerPoint will leave your audience amazed and engaged. With just a few clicks, you can transform your presentations into immersive experiences that leave a lasting impression. Oh, I forgot about the call to action button. Design a button, a cool gradient button. I have added transparency effect on the button. Isn't it cool? Well, then you can add the content like learn, click, discover, hit, or potato. I think an icon is needed here. An arrow. Use the inbuilt library of icons. Well, nowadays you can find amazing icons across the different icon sources online. I am using the inbuilt library for this video. Now you can take time to adjust the placement and alignment of the art you have created. It is looking beautiful. Let's add some text at the top as well. It may be needed for some of you. The first layout is focusing on the preview of the information, while the second layout is more about the expanded information or view of the first layout. It is giving the information in detail. However, if you have some more content to showcase, then you can use the empty spacing on the sides. But you should use the spaces very smartly so that the design looks balanced and yes, beautiful. The second layout, I want to keep it more towards white color. I will use some gradient but this will be more lighter than the left layout. Place the text in a way that it is spaced out but arranged. Follow the same color scheme used on the first layout. Let's add one image as well towards the bottom.
I am arranging the globe position. It is a 3D object then, it is easy to move or rotate. I am not satisfied with the bottom image. I think I should change it. While adding the text, a thought crossed in my mind. Let's use dark gradient on the second layout as well. Copying from the first layout but in reverse. Let's see how it looks. This is looking nice. I like it and will keep it only. Now you can adjust the text and image objects. Trying a gradient look behind the image. I am sure it should work. Once a great man said, success is not guaranteed by trying once, but by persistently striving for your desired results. Now let's do some things that will make your design stand out. Well, the design is complete. But finishing is something which will make your design more beautiful than others. Insert a circle and add transparency. Then two more smaller in size with different transparency levels. Then, place the set of circles behind the 3D earth. Adjust the placement, preview in slideshow mode. Adding gradient color in the circles. Make sure it matches with your color scheme. Else it will not look good. I want to make the design modern. Adding one text element on the left in the vertical format. It gives a very modern look and feel to the design. I will not cover the animation part in this video. I want you to download the slide from the link in the description and learn the animation. You can also share your designs with me and I will show in my next video. I want to add some depth in the background. Let's copy the layout and paste this image. Make the images blur and transparent. Then send the images to back behind the layout. Keep the transparency high. Repeat the process for second layout as well. This adds to the beauty of the slide. Let's take a look at the final animated layout. I hope you will like the design. Take a look at the animation. If you can see, I have added subtle animation on the left layout. Earth is also rotating. I have done some more finishing on the design like added the vibrant blue hue behind both the layouts. Thank you for joining us on this exciting journey through the world of PowerPoint and 3D objects. If you enjoyed the content and found it valuable, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel for more amazing content and consider joining our membership. And don't forget to share this video with your friends, colleagues, and anyone who could benefit from the power of 3D in presentations. Your support means the world to us, and it helps us continue creating valuable resources for you. Thank you once again, and we'll see you in the next video.